Welchin, Grand Forest Brooks, Small Forest X. Just uh, finished up doing a video on cutting this uh, this log in half. But there's still some more going on here and instead of trying to fuck around with setting this up in a tree because I don't have my tripod or anything with me. Um, I'm just going to hold the camera. So it's going to be a little shaky and not the best uh, video probably, but it'll be cool in the sense that you'll get to see this thing uh, do some work on this, uh, this lovely, lovely wood here. What kind is it? I don't know. I'm not that good with uh, my wood and bark and uh, be able to know what it is. I don't know. I'm in Wisconsin. Eastern, South, Eastern Wisconsin. So, anybody knows? Feel free to comment on what the hell this is. I mean, I don't know. Oak, something. A lot of, a lot of trees. So, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna cut this down a little bit more here. I think right about in this area. Obviously, gonna be doing this one-handed since I'm holding the the camera. So. Might not be as effective as uh, regular chopping, obviously with two hands. But all right, this is this is going here. Some of these bullshit little little guys out of the way. It's also snowing, so uh, <clears throat> a little wet out here. It's like glass. It's like smacking glass. Edge is okay. But still, you see how that thing was bouncing off there? How that thing, how the axe was bouncing off there? You can see the splitting power in this axe. It hit over here, and it just the wedge effect split the wood uh, very easily. A great head design, Grand Forest Brooks. Weatherlings, they have a little bit of a wider head. Well, um, I'm forgetting word usage and terminology on the axes, but <coughs> it tapers. A little bit wider than the Grand Force Brooks. So Grand Force Brooks, better cutter. Weatherling's probably more of a splitter, but uh, there's videos out there on uh, both of the axes. So feel free, feel free to check those out. I don't own a Weatherling, so I'm just speaking off of uh, what I've seen on videos and such, and uh, online forums and whatnot, which you can't believe everything you read or see, so. I kind of do a group comparison and, uh, you know, what do, you know, more more or less, the, what are the people are saying about the, the axe or the tool or the boots or the equipment, whatever you're looking up, is usually closer to the truth, <laughs> usually. these little swings you're kind of tiring out my my hand a little bit see if I could do a little left hand swings here and film I'm kind of off on the camera but try to hit something with your left hand without fucking anything up not the, the easiest thing to do all right switching hands back this palm swell on here freaking awesome grips so nicely even if your hands getting kind of tired and fatigued which I would suggest if you're getting tired and fatigued you stop before you hurt yourself but that really helps out keep your your hand in there it gives you the confidence to keep swinging especially with a, uh, such a small little axe such as this Let's see if we can get this angle here she's about to go We'll just put the boot to her. Not really a boot, it's a shoe. But 
you know, nothing but the best for them out in the woods. Got the high top Nikes. Yeah, that's that's the beast we're dealing with. And is it still sharp? Do a little test here. Well, let's go down on her. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh yeah. I mean, definitely. She's she's dulled a little bit, and uh, this isn't my first tree I've been cutting down back here. I cleared uh, this path, which curves off to the right and swings around. There's a few trees in there that some some of which are actually kind of a hardwood. Actually, it took me a little bit longer to cut through those than this, and this is actually uh, maybe twice the thickness. But uh, yeah, Grand Forest Brooks, small forest axe. It's a beast, definitely worth the money. I mean, still shaving sharp for uh, just, you know, a little, little woodwork and such. Probably do a feather stick, no problem with this beast, no problem. Repeat myself a couple times. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, just tapping it, no problem. Nice little flakes. So, I approve of this axe. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to check out my other videos on this axe and uh, a few other things I got going on. Uh, hit the like button if you like this video, and uh, hit the like button on my other videos if you like those videos. So, appreciate those, and uh, thanks for watching.